Nah, son, baby. And this is another episode. Can't help but swing it, boy. Swing it, brother, swing. And this is your host. Nah, son, baby, 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 baby. Here we go. Microphone chat one two one two. This is your host, Nah, son, baby, and this is another episode of Swingers After Dark, and we gonna talk about. A pandemic, not COVID. Nah, we're not going to talk about COVID. You know, we're going to talk about the bitterness between men and women. And, you know, nowadays on this social media explosion of content creators, we got men and women expressing their displeasure of sexes. You know, it's like a, a battleground. It's like a war between genders, gender wars. And me personally, I'm not about gender warring. You know, we spread love, not war, baby. Ow. And I, I just I just wanted to, you know, sprinkle a little bit of feminine energy onto this episode by bringing on, bringing on, bringing on and on and on and on and on, and on a goddess. Yes. Bring on the feminine energy, you know, because it, it's about the yin and the yang. You feel me? So, you know, women were built. Or not even built. I, I would say women were created. You know, women were created. So men have someone to show compassion for. Because, you know, we're aggressive. We got testosterone. But at the end of the day, when we come home from battle, we want something, you know, we want something soothing. You feel me? We want that peace. Like a man is a woman's rock. A woman needs to be a man's peace of mind. You feel me? So... With all that being said, I, I, I'm going to call her Philly. I, I'm going to call this my guest, Miss Philly. Yes. You know, Miss Philly, because she, she's filled. She's filled with elegance and grace. You feel me? She got that Kool-Aid smile, that Colgate smile. She got, you know, the pearly whites, you know, the pearly gates that you enter. Because I want to enter them pearly gates in more ways than one. Ow. So, Miss Philly... What's, what's good? good what's good? What's good, Victory? Well, you you, you, you got to speak up. They they need to hear. They need to hear what you got to say. They need to hear your magic. I you feel me? So, you know, it, it, it's like we in this social media era where everybody has a podcast. Everybody has an online show. Everybody has a radio show. And when it comes to speaking about the opposite sex, it is it's rarely you get the standpoint from building with somebody. You know, mm -hmm. it's always from a point of view of you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't date this person. You shouldn't date that. Or you should do this or you should do that. But it's rarely you hear about building with somebody. Right. You know, you, you always hear men and women talking about why you shouldn't get married or why you should be single. But it's like everybody want to be married. Well, everybody don't want to be single. Just like how everybody don't want to be married. So it's like Okay, you're telling me not to do this. You're telling me not to do that. But what should I do when I find that person who I want to be with for the rest of my life? And how should I treat this person? You know, how should I build with this person? How should I nurture a relationship to foster a positive environment where both of us can flourish? When we, when we find ourselves in a relationship that... We want to be in, you know, for the rest of our lives. And a lot of people don't talk about that. It's just like, it's kind of like, how can I get over on, on somebody? You know, so it's like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to tear you down to build up my fellow man. Just like how you shouldn't tear me down just to build out, just to build the sisterhood. So right. how, how do you feel about the, the rise? Not even feel, because we don't deal with emotions and this bitch. Well, what do you think about? the the rise of the you know the me 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 era it's all about me it's all about me it's all about me because when it comes to men it's about you know how how much you can it's like looking good how much money i'm making and telling her to shut up and for women it's like how can i get over how can i get him to pay 
you know, all the bills and the mortgage and the rent. And how can I be independent at the same time? But nobody is talking about building. So what do, what do you think about we living in an era where it's, it's a sense of selfishness and a lot of content creators, they're projecting their insecurities onto, onto women or onto men, or they projecting their insecurities, their bitterness onto their podcasts or onto their shows. So what do you think about the, I want to say the rise, but what do you think about the, the commercialization of bitterness amongst the sexes? I honestly think it's 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 not cute. It sounds like it's the latest trend and it's not cute, it's not good. I mean, you got people sitting here talking about like you said, me, 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 and you want this man to do everything for you, you want him to cater to you, but at the same time, you what do you have to what do you have to give back to this man? You see what I'm saying? They a lot of times I've noticed that people get married just to say that they're married just for the trend, just for the wedding. And next thing you know, they're arguing, they're bickering, they're fighting, and it comes the blows. And next thing you know, they're getting a divorce. And then they go and do it again with another person. So it's just, you know, that me, 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 me thing, I, it's, it's, it's not good. It's, it's, I've, I've seen a lot of that lately where, I mean, I've seen men uh, have birthday dinners for their, for their girlfriends, their wives or whatever, and she acts a whole fool because it's not where she wanted it to be. But at the same time, this man you know, took it upon himself to do everything he can to try and make your day, your special day more special. So, and I think, I think they get a lot of that from a lot of these, you know, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of these uh, reality shows where they're showing you how they live and people get that stuck in their head that this is what we're supposed to do. But that's their reality. That's not your reality. You see what I'm saying? So, and, you know, and, and then on top of that, stop letting other people into your business. Stop letting them do that because they'll tell you in a minute, nah, man, you know, leave that bitch alone. Uh, no, girl, he ain't no good. Leave that nigga alone and this, this, that, and the other. Before you even try to start working things out between the two of you. At least but, try to do that first. But what's crazy, you, you speak about reality shows and these celebrities. These celebrities aren't living the life that they're projecting. You feel me? Exactly. They, they living from check to check. Exactly. It's a show. It's a show. But see, a lot of people, a lot of people like reality shows. I'm not one of those people, but a lot of people like reality shows and they, they watch it and they, they, they see those images and they're like, oh, well, yeah, you know, you got to have this, you got to do, you got to have that. But like you said, that's not, that's not also not their reality. Okay. Even, even these reality shows are scripted in some way, shape or form. So I think in order to, you know, to build with somebody, you know what I mean? Get to know that person, you know? Talk to them, communicate with them, B build with them, start building with them instead of thinking that, oh, well, he has to have seven figures. He has to have excellent credit. He has to have that. You're saying all of these things that you want from this man, but what do you have? All right, because it's a, it's a two-way street. It's two people. It's not all about you. You know what I mean? It, what I mean, what do you have to offer as well? You know, you want this man to have six, seven figures. I mean, what do you, I mean, what makes you think he don't want you having six, seven figures? He might not be happy with you working in, in a hospital or, or fast food or uh, Uber or whatever it is your occupation is. He might want you to have the same thing. So don't, I, I just feel as though you shouldn't ask for what, for what you cannot provide. What so, you what cannot do you, so what do you think about this concept of a high value man? And, and your, from your perspective... What is a high value man? Because everybody has their own definition of what a high value man is. Right. Everybody has their own definition. I feel as though, in my opinion, a high powered man in this day and age is m mainly regarding finances. That's what I think that some people are referring to when they say I want a high, a high caliber, high value man. I think they're talking about big money. You know, that's what I think that they are referring to. So, I mean, you, you can't sit up there and tell a man no matter how much he makes. You can't sit up there and tell a man how much he makes or whatever, who to date and who not to date. He's going to like what he likes. He's going to like who he likes. Okay? He's going to be attracted to whatever he's attracted to. And at the same time, that's his choice if he wants to help build you up 
And if he sees you're trying to do something more with yourself, or it's his chance, I mean, not his chance, but it's his, you know, that's his choice. If he wants to be like, all right, well, I see that, this, you know, I'm just smashing on about my business. Either way, that man is still going to be making his money. The same with a lot of these women, you know, I've, I've heard some men say, well, I, you know, I want an older woman because, you know, she got money. Not all of them got money. Not all of them got money. You know what I mean? But uh, some, but it, some of them are good people. And, and, and I'm not saying that, you know, it's just older women that are good people. But at the same time, you can't expect to go find some sugar mama or whatever just because she's older and you want some money. You want a high caliber woman, which, I, again, I believe is uh, talking about finances and money. So, and I, I mean, I hear it a lot. I, I hear, you know, little young, younger guys coming up to me or, and I ask them, what, do you, what is it about an older woman you like so much? And like, oh, well, you know, she knows what she wants. She always got her shit together. That's true in most cases. But I have ran into some women my age who you would think was about, you know, 20 some odd years old, still acting. You know, they it's like they haven't grown up some. We all have to grow up sometime, whether we're in our 20s, 30s, 40s or whatever. But we all have to grow up sometime. But I've heard that from men as well. So I, I, just, believe, I just believe that high caliber is referring to money and not uh, stature. I think it's just referring to money. Because look at Bill Gates, you know, he, he's a billionaire and he recently got a divorce. You yes, feel me? Is. So that's not going to guarantee. I, I get it. Finances plays. Finances play a, an important role at the same time. That's not the be all end all. You still got to measure the morals, values or principles of the person exactly. who you want to be with, because you could be a piece of shit in a Bentley and you could be miserable and not for nothing. What a lot of women don't take into account is that once you come across a man who you may consider as high value and he's paying the rent, the mortgage, the bills and everything 100%, you have to relinquish your sense of independence. You feel me? Yeah, you yeah. can't be independent and a kept woman at the same time. You say it pays the cost to be the boss, but there's a pros and cons to everything. You feel me? If you exactly. want this man to pay 100% of everything, then you have to give him 100% cooperation. Ain't no talking back. I talk back. Ain't no sassy, zesty shit. You can't give right. him sass. You feel me? I mean, so a, a lot of dudes use their finances for control. And a lot of women, they not, a lot of women, especially nowadays, they not built for that. You feel me? They no. not built for it. They not built no. for a high caliber, a high value man. Understood. But at the same time, you know, you might, you might, you know, if you come across someone who is quote unquote high caliber or whatever type of man or woman, at the same time, y'all are both adults. So you should be able to sit down at the dining room table, the kitchen table, the, the, the living room couch and be able to discuss whatever is going on and what is needed. You see what I'm saying? And at the same time, and it's a way that you talk to people. I mean, I can't go in. And, and look at my man after he done paid the bills or all this other stuff. And I'm like, well, nigga, you forgot to do this. And how come this? And what the fuck? That? No. I mean, if there's a problem going on, I can sit you down and be like, baby, look, there's been an issue going on with this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? And I am coming to you as an adult and as your woman. I need you to come back at me as my man and as an adult. So we can sit down and communicate and talk. A lot of people, commu a lot of people don't communicate. A lot of people listen to retaliate they're not listening to help resolve or to see what they can do to resolve they they do it to retaliate they want the clap back they want the last word you see what i'm saying so i mean if you do like i said if i did like my man if, if i did have my man up in here talk, and he done paid everything you know what i mean and and i still work and i would still be working and if he stood up there and said well babe before you leave can you can you go can you either make or can you go get me something to eat i sure can i sure can Give me a minute. I sure can. You know what I mean? Because I know he's had a hard day. And at the same time, along with his hard day, he done paid for everything. So it's not going to kill me to go and do something for him before I leave for work. Or when I come home, you know, when you come home on your way home, can you grab something on your way home? Sure. I sure can. I sure can. But so it, a lot it, of people, they just it, don't communicate. They, they talk to retaliate. It, 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 see, it, it's not about being right. It's about getting it right. A lot right. of people don't understand that concept. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Okay, it's, yeah, exactly. It's not about being right. Some people, some people are so hell bent on being right, having the last word, and making sure it was an impact or it was like, oh, it was dirty enough to leave an impact where y'all not speaking for days at a time. Instead of sitting there trying to do all that, I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to argue with you. I want us to sit down. Can we talk for a minute? You know what I mean? Because we don't have to go through all of this. We don't have to go through all of that. It, like you said, it's about getting it right. Let's get it right. I don't want to be right. I want us to. I want us to get it right. Feel me? Yes, because when you in a relationship, that me turns into we, that minds turn into ours, and that I turns into us. Absolutely. You understand me? And, and people Absolutely. don't understand that concept. It, it is crazy that I, I get it. You know, as a man. I think uh, as a man myself, I think a man should be self-sufficient to take care of himself and also the woman he's with. You know, I, I think that a man should strive, at least strive if he if he's unable, he should strive to pay the rent and the bills, the rent and the mortgage. He should strive to pay 100 percent. At the same time, we're not living in our granddaddy's or great great granddaddy's age nowadays. You know, everything yeah. is inflated. Back in the day, you could have a million kids. You could have a million kids and hold down the household. You feel me? But now you need a, you need an income, another stream of income. You need a side hustle. You need a little bit of fraud. <laughs> you need cryptocurrency. You need stocks. You need this, that, and and then the third. You know, it, it's not like a lot of a lot of chicks. They say, well. Our granddaddies, they take care of our grandmothers or our great grandfathers take care of our great grandmothers and they had a lot of kids, but you gotta like a bag of potato chips was a fucking penny. You exactly. feel me? Now That's now a bag of potato chips is like fifty cent. It's yeah, not a quarter yeah. anymore. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. And I mean I've heard that too. Like, oh well, my granddaddy did that. Honey, that was a different time. So I mean my grand my grandmother, she was a stay at home. She stayed at home. She stayed at home when my grandfather worked. Okay. And yeah, and my grandfather, when he came home from work, he didn't have to want for anything. Dinner was ready. He could he could lay on the couch and sleep all day because he worked night shift. You know what I mean? Clothes was washed, ironed. Um, he was fed. I mean, he didn't have to worry about anything when he came home because he he took care of everything. The house was clean. You know what I mean? He didn't have to do anything but go to work, pay them. You know, have to make sure the bills and everything is paid. And even then. He turned those over. He turned the finances over to my grandmother so that she could, so that it would be made sure that it was paid. Like he would say, "Okay, here, this is the money. Pay this, pay that, and pay that," and she would do it. So I mean, and then like I said, at the end of the day, he didn't have to worry about anything. He didn't have to worry about what was he going to eat. He didn't have to worry about where was his clean clothes. He didn't have to worry about anything like that. He didn't have to come. He never came home to a dirty house. So I mean, it's all about you know. It's all about give and take, but at the same time, like I said, that was a different time than when I was growing up. You know what I mean? So he was able to do those things. And like you said, nowadays, you need everything, including a miracle, to try and keep your head above water. So when you see this and you realize this and you meet someone and y'all decide to make a go of it, get to know each other and start building and everything, you realize this at the same time, I have my income, you have your income. And there are things that I can do for you. And there might be something that I might I might need you to do for me. Like while I'm at work, can you run the dishwasher for me while I'm at work? You know what I mean? And on my off days, you know, because I mean, I only work like three days out the week. So on my off days, like, all right, well, you know, I got dinner. Dinner's ready. You know, when you get home, it'll be ready for you when you get home and everything. Oh, I don't wash the clothes. So you ain't got to worry about that. It, you know, it's, it's little, it's things like that. It's things like that. Plus communication. I don't want to argue with you again. I don't want to argue with you. I mean, if I got questions, I'm gonna ask. I will ask you, but I will. But I do prefer us to sit down and talk like we are adults trying to build and move up. And it's crazy because in the '90s, it was about joint uh, joint accounts, having joint accounts. How did it? Yes. It's crazy. It went from having joint accounts to. The man got to pay for everything. And I don't want a 50-50 relationship. There's not a third. But the, the thing is, it's not a lot of dudes, no matter the gender, no matter the, the race, no matter the ethnicity, no matter his complexion, his nationality. 
a lot of dudes are unable to foot the bill 100 percent so right. a lot of chicks nowadays they live in this fantasy cinderella snow white imagination to the point where they have these expectations and they're disappointed at the same time if you with a man who knows how to build and he's striving to be resourceful you're going to pass him up because he's unable to he's unable to foot the bill 100 percent and then you right. wonder why you wonder why you reach your 50s and you're surrounded by nothing but cats and you have to drink wine you got to invest in wine and vibrators and have a bunch of kittens because you passed up on good dudes who are builders but because he's not footing the bill 100 percent you didn't want to fuck with him so it's like, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, I, I, I get the, I get the, the, the want of wanting a man who, who could foot the bill 100%. But at the same time, you have to be realistic, especially during COVID. You know, a lot exactly. of jobs were wiped out. You understand me? Yeah. It affected COVID. The pandemic affected everybody. Black, white, Latino, Asian, purple, green, pink, turquoise, alien, whatever the case may be. So it's all about building with your mate. It's all about what 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 can I bring to the table? If you're a woman, and it, let's even if I'm 100, percent even if I pay for everything, if I built the table, what could you bring to the table that I built? You yeah. feel me? So as a woman, let's say we're in a relationship. What can you bring to the table that I built? Well, I, well, I can bring to the table. Also, you know, I work as well. But at the same time, you know, I want to bring you my support, my communication. Um, I want to be there when you get home or when I come home from work. I want to be there. I want to be able to listen to you. You know, how was your day? What's going on? You know what I mean? You don't you look like you're a little pissed off, baby. What's up? Talk to me. You know what I mean? I want you to be able to come to me. I want you to come home and feel relaxed. I want you to feel safe. When you come home, I want you to be able to leave work in the day outside the door because you know it's going to be all right when you get home. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like I said, and at the same time, I mean, you could sit up there and say, well, baby, I ain't got enough for that for that ga gas bill. Don't worry, baby. I got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, we have to work as a team. You feel me? We have, to, Especially in these days and time. We have to work. We have to work as a team. It's not like back in the day where, you know, you ran your mortgage was a uh, hundred dollars a month. You know what I mean? And uh, electric was five dollars a month. If that if that if you know that the inflation of, of the dollar and everything has gone. Oh, my God, that skyrocketed. But at the same time, you know, what I bring is, like I said, is that that understanding that wanting to talk to you. That softer side, so that you can calm down, leave that day behind you, and just and 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 you know, like I said, and sit with me, and you know that it's all good. You know, when you come home, you are that you are at peace, and peace of mind is important nowadays. Now, I mean, I don't want you to sit there and be like, I, you know, you about to get off your work, the boy be like, yo, what, what you doing? Like, man, I got to go the fuck home. I don't feel like hearing this mess tonight. I don't feel like going home to her. I would never want that for you. You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot that we can offer, but it with you know uh, uh, outside of financial means, and because like you said, we we need like two incomes and more nowadays. So, but I would like for you to know that you know I'm going to work with you. You know where where you had lacked off or where you couldn't pay this, I got okay, baby, I got it. You know what I mean? I want you to like I said, I want you to come home from work and be like. You know it's gonna be okay i'm at ease i'm at peace you know what i mean oh she's off today i know she done cooked i mean you know i'm gonna have all i'm gonna eat i'm gonna do this and you know what i mean Shit, I'm, she off the night or whatever time she work or whatever you know i know i know she gonna fuck my brains out when we get upstairs or whatever stuff like that leave the outside alone you know and don't let everybody into your business and everything and you know stuff like that is that you know when he says, you know, I can bring this to the table. Also, I want you to be able to trust me as well. I want you to be able to trust in the fact that when you do walk in that door, that it's not going to be a whole lot of bullshit. We are, you know, if there is a situation or a problem going on, we are going to be able to sit down and talk as adults. You know, if there's anything like 
um, like for, as far as money is concerned. Well, baby, I was thinking about getting this job over here because it's paying more money and that'll help you and me out. Because like you said, you trade that I for we. So it's, it's things like that that I don't see too much in people anymore. Yeah, and a lot of these chicks be fronting. They talk about they don't want a 50-50 relationship, but they baby daddy or the dudes who they constantly deal with, they ain't shit and can't give shit and ain't about shit and won't be shit. And, and it's it like, okay, you go on social media, you fronting, you capping, you debating, mm -hmm. but look at your dating choices. You feel yeah. me? So a, a lot of... A lot of chicks need to just keep it real. Listen, if you want somebody to take care of you, just say that. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Don't don't masquerade it into oh, he's not yeah. a real man if he don't, you know, take care one hundred percent of everything. Listen, you just want to be taken care of. You feel me? You just yeah. want to be a legal prostitute because you gotta give me more than pussy. I can get that anywhere at okay. any time. You understand? Some me? of them might be trying to get that forty dollars and, and, and talking about some I need him to pay more. I mean it yeah, yeah, I feel you on that. Let's, let's be real. Let's be real. I mean, for some people, it was like, you know, I just want to meet um, a, a decent guy with, you know, you know, with, with, with a decent job or whatever. You know what I mean? So that, you know, we can work together. And you, it's some people that still think like that. But like you said, it's a lot of them like, well, he ain't no real man if he ain't paying 100 percent. Well, you know what? You just met this guy. So why the hell and why the pure and adulterated hell would he want to pay 100 percent? He just met you two days ago. Wow. And, 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 and plus... And plus, our assets, a man assets, they're everything to us. You feel me? So if I'm paying 100%, it, it's crazy. A lot of women want us to pay 100%, but mm -hmm. they want to take half when we break up or get a divorce. I, I, make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? The courts favor the women. You want to take 100% of my, I mean, you want me to take care of 100% of the rent, bills, mortgage, or whatever the case may be, of the expenses, but... You want to take half when we break up. I'm like, yo, you wasn't shooting with me in the gym. Yeah. You feel me? So it, it's, it's, it's kind of lopsided. But I get it at the end of the day. I get it. At the same time, it's all about building. How well could we build with each other? You feel right. me? It, it's about coming together right. as one. Right. You understand me? Because if, if, if you know, if, if people, I, I, I put it to you like this. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. If a woman wants a man to take care of all the expenses, or I'm not saying that a 50 50 relationship is wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying going 100% is wrong. I'm not saying going 100% is right. I'm saying do what works for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do what's best for you. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to convince somebody what's right or what's wrong, do what works for you. You exactly. feel me? Life, exactly. life is like a university, life is a universe. You know, you, you're you going to major in something that interests you. You're going to minor in something that interests you. You have a lot of colleges within the university that you can enroll in. So I may I may major in journalism. I may minor in English, but I could take an art class. I could take, you know, architect. I could take social studies, social sciences. You know, right. it, it's about what works for you. If I go to a restaurant, I'm not going to pick everything in the menu. I'm going to pick what works for me. So right. you eat the fish and spit out the bones instead of frowning upon a man who may not, who either may not have the means to pay for all the expenses or you trying to debate somebody because mm -hmm. they don't see it the way you want to see it. You understand right. me? And they, right. if, if you want to, if you, it's like date the person who represents the situation that you want to be in. You feel me? That's why I say, you know, date the person, you know, Date the person who 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 reflects your future or your projected future. There you go. You understand me? So because all, all this gender warring is like it's just tearing, it's just tearing each other down. Nobody's talking about building. You know, you you stated perfectly. What can I do for you? What can you do for me to benefit the situation as a whole? To benefit the right. relationship. What I'm doing for you is not going to benefit you. It's going to benefit us and vice there versa. You go. You feel me? So it, it's, it's, it's like we move lock and step. We move as a unit. We move at one accord. You understand me? And, and that concept is lost. That, that, that concept is lost because a lot of these people are single. They're not even married. A lot of these people are, are not in relationships and they speaking right. the loudest 
about whether 50 50 relationships are going to work they're not even married they're not even in relationships so how the hell are you going to speak on something that you're not even a part of my parents have been married for over 25 years and not once did i hear them complain or argue about finances right not once but you have a lot of single people who's going to dictate and determine what's right and what's wrong or what should be law but you're not married you're not in a relationship you feel exactly. me so it's like you how it's like how are you going to talk about building when you're not in a building relationship right you feel me like you can have an really? idea of what it is to be in a relationship but don't shit on mm -hmm. somebody situation that may work for them exactly don't do that don't do that because you're not you you don't know what they're doing you haven't been where they've been and, so, and, and this shit and this and this shit gonna tell me oh well I, I told them that my parents you know they've been in a relationship they've been married for 25 plus years mm -hmm. and they had joint accounts and she was like oh they didn't have joint accounts i'm like how are you gonna tell me what my parents are doing financially when i live under their roof for years you feel me right. they, they live they live in the richest county in the state of illinois got a house got two cars and they've been in a relationship longer than these motherfuckers have been in a relationship. A lot of people can't keep a relationship if they like depending on it. So I I was raised in a household where I saw two people build together. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I saw them sharing responsibilities. You know, I, I saw them pick up the slack when, when right. somebody, when somebody, you know, might have fell off before they could bounce back. You feel me? Okay, you, you going through your trials and tribulations, baby, I got this. Mm -hmm. And then when you get back on your feet, we can keep the ball rolling. There you know, you there's been times when my mother worked. She didn't even have to work. You know, my pops did everything. But when the economy, you know, had a downturn, they both had to work. And mm -hmm. I didn't hear any complaints. Oh, you know, I don't have to. My, mo my mother never said, oh, you know, you ain't shit because I can't work anymore. Or I got to work now and I can't stay at home anymore. This, that, and the third. They was like, okay, right. baby, I gotta do, I gotta do, what I gotta do to make sure that exactly. you, you know we sustain what we have. So I was a lot of people were not raised in a, a household that nourished them or that foster an idea of what a couple sh or how a couple should build and what they do to build. It's like you said, they have this these grandiose ideas based on fairy tales and based on reality shows. That's not even reality; it's fallacy. It's not a reality. It's fallacy and fodder. So a, a lot of people put these high expectations. I get it. You want the best of the best, but at the same time, you have to be realistic because every yeah. like everybody's not going to make it. You feel me? Right. And it, it, every and who's to say that a man who's in the ten percent wants you? You say you want a man who could pay for everything, but who's to say that man wants you? And who's to say that you could treat that man good? Right. <laughs> who to say he yeah, wants yeah. you? It's either it's easy to say what you want, but who to say he wants you? You know, you may not even <coughs> excuse me. You may not even be on his level, but you talking right. all that shit on social media. <laughs> social media. Some people use it as a safe place to say whatever they want to say and think there won't be any consequence or repercussion. Because a lot of people, as it was, what was the post I put up there, a lot of people aren't what they post to be mm -hmm. and that's what that's real because they that, that's post p-o-s-t yeah. post they're not supposed yeah. to be yeah exactly. they front and they perpetrating the fraud there you go or, or what there these kids go. or what these kids say nowadays they capping <laughs> yeah we exactly. say fronting we still say fronting but they capping <laughs> exactly that's exactly it you know they're not what they post to be and i meant that and i'm I post as many times as I can. I do. Because it's, it's just social media, but some people, they hide behind it. Not being who they really are. And, you know, when you see who they really are, it's like, yo, fuck, this is not, you know what I mean? So, stop, you know. And then, and yeah, just see that social media reality shows, just be who, be who you are. Don't let others outside dictate what you are supposed to have, what you are supposed to want and what you are supposed to need. You know, a lot of times 
you got that one friend that'll tell you, nah, girl, no, nah, yeah, he had tried to talk to me, fuck him, this, this, that, and the other. I said, I've been kicking to the curb, and he ain't even said boo to you. But he gonna meet your friend, and next thing you know, you the bridesmaid in her wedding, you sitting there looking stupid, all salty. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, if you're not if you're not in a relationship and everything and what have you, don't try and tell somebody what to do with their relationship. Don't do that. Because a lot of times, you know, a lot of times we're wrong. A lot of times we're 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 going off of the bitterness of the things that we've gone through in our past relationships and we're just trying to pass that on. You know. It's more like, well, if it was me, I would do this and I would do that. But you but you know what? It's not you. It's not you. This is their relationship. You know what I mean? If you want if you want an ear, I got you. You want advice? Eh, I'm not really going to give you too much advice. Because that's your relationship. Depending on what it is and depending on how close we are is what I, is what determines whether or not I give you any type of advice whatsoever when it comes to your relationship. Because I don't like to get into people's relationships. You know, because I mean, I've seen people find out the other was doing dirty and they would turn around and, oh, you know, well, you know, she ain't shit, he ain't shit, and this is that, the other. Two weeks later, after a little whining and dining and some talking, you can be right back in the house. So there's no sense in really trying to get into a person's relationship and dictate to them what they need, what to look for, what to have, you know, who to talk to, um, and everything. I mean, because the chemistry, if the chemistry is there between the two, then the chemistry is there. And if she likes him and he likes her, who am I, who, you know, the outside party looking in, who am I to sit up there and say, oh, no, girl, you don't need that. You don't want that. How would I know? How would I know? That man could probably be treating her like a queen and beyond. You see what I'm saying? But because of me being in my state of mind, where, where the, the quote unquote the niggas ain't shit state of mind and what have you then in my head he ain't shit either so nah girl nah and then next thing you know she done missed out you feel me and the same thing with some of some of these some of our men and stuff like that I mean that's what they, nah dude you know she got she got three kids don't fuck with her like why not she seemed like good people you know what I mean and next thing you know he's missing out because he listened to his friend and this woman is treating the, the 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 next man, you know, like a king and beyond. You feel me? So I mean, it's, it's, I know we try to look out for our friends. What we think what we're doing is looking out for our friends, family, and stuff like that. But a lot of times we are just passing along past experiences and bitterness onto the next person, depending on the situation. And on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, Not Sun, baby. Check out my website at www.notsunblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, Fuck. Yes, you heard right. That's F U C K. Fuck. It's on Nook, Kindle, Ibus, Google Play. Go get it. It'll make you say, uh, na 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 na, ow. And shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up with any questions and all concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. Da -da 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 and on that note, until next time, peace. You know.